Hi everybody, it's Daphne and you're very welcome back to spend some time with me today. This is just a kind of a, a short, quick vi um, video because um, I have one of my kids is doing exams at the moment so it's kind of harder to get a, um, you know, a block of time at the moment um, because the exams are not, they're not, they don't, they start at kind of normal school time but they finish earlier in the morning and then start kind of mid-afternoon so if he's coming home in between times I kind of need to be there it's just harder to kind of get everything done so this is a quick video and um, what I'm going to talk about today is if you notice that I'm looking a little bit unbalanced um, this side you'll notice I have dark circles and this side hopefully you'll see are covered um, I wanted to talk about two products that I've been enjoying one is a very recent purchase but I know I love it and this one, the other one is one that I've been using for a few weeks and I think I have mentioned it. I think I probably have mentioned it in something, but anyway, dark circles are just a problem, aren't they? They really, really are. And I think as you get older, certainly for me, I notice that the darkness is creeping up here. So it's kind of a blueness and it's just, I know it's the veins, I hope the lighting is okay, but you can see there where I have quite um, a lot of darkness. Um, and it, it is a challenge to kind of cover that and to, without it looking cakey, and for it to last um, as the day progresses. So, apart from a good under eye moisturiser, good under eye cream, and the one I use is the Kiehl's Av Creamy Avocado Cream, um, hydrating cream, and I find that really, really good. It's, I don't know, it just patted all around your your eye socket bone, it really, really does hydrate. I don't think there are creams, well, there are creams that claim to help with those dark circles. I don't know if they really, really work. But anyway, I found this product, um, it's a Catrice product and it's a camouflage cream and it's the anti-shadow. And I'm sure I did mention it before, but I haven't really talked about it in depth. And that's, it's a yellowy um, coloured cream. Um, you can see I've made I don't know if you can, but I have made quite a dent in it. Um, I've been using it every day. And actually, another a trick that I have learned to do is to put the concealer on first. Then, actually, sorry, put this on first, which is what I'm going to do because I have this eye done. So I want to do this eye so you can see the difference, hopefully, that it, that it will make. So I have my mirror here. Um, so I'm going to pat that in. And you could put it on with a brush, you could put it on with um, a small sponge, but I just find that my finger fits the contour very nicely. So you can see there, I'm doing, I'm doing that deliberately so that you can see the colour. Um, and you can go right up to where the darkness um, goes as far, mine goes up as far as there. So it's easy enough to cover this bit. It's much harder because that's much deeper, that, that colour. Um, that darkness is much deeper there. So I've just dropped it. <laughs> and I'm going to pat some more in. And I'm not blending it really, I'm just sort of patting it out. Um, and I'm putting on as much as I think is going to be needed. Excuse me, I did drop it, so I'm just going to pick it up. There we go, back again. And um, I'll put it on a solid surface, not on the bed. I'm just going to keep putting, building that up until I feel that I have sufficient amount. Now, it may not seem it on camera, but in real life, that's actually covering it quite nicely. So that's my first, that's my first step. So I think you might even be able to see that it has changed the appearance of that darkness. Um, as I say, on in my mirror, it looks perfect. It may, camera lighting, or you know, cameras pick up things differently. So it may not look perfect to you, but I'll, and where I find it worst of all, it's just literally there, that little spot. And I've always had dark, dark circles under my eyes, even when I was, you know, young. When I was a kid, I always had them. I think it's just, I think it's just in my genes. Now I had been using, the concealer I had been using was the Maybelline Fit Me in number 10. The writing is worn off, but it doesn't look as if it's empty, but it is because it's literally just what's left on the inside of the um, on the inside of the bottle. I can't scrape any more out, really. Um, and I think it's kind of becoming a little bit unhygienic because I'm rubbing the little applicator. But that's a very good concealer. I really like it. But just I went to get a new one and I saw the Maybelline Dream Lumi and it's Dream Lumi Touch. 
So it's a concealer and a highlighter in one. And I really liked the look of this. It wasn't expensive. I bought it in Superdrug. It was, I think it was about seven euro. So I said, I'll try it. And it's one of the little pens. So this one is in the color. What color is it? Oh, hmm. I think it's nude. Yeah, I don't have my, my glasses on, but I think it's nude. It's zero one or one. Zero one. I think it's zero one. I think, oh, yeah. Anyway, it's nude. So that's the little applicator. It's a little brush and you just twist it. So you can hear it making a clicking sound. I don't want to click it too much because a lot, actually a lot comes out. And there you can hear it clicking there. Now you can see it coming out. So rather than putting it directly on, I'm going to put it on my hand like a little palette. Pop that down. And again, I need my mirror and, oh, itchy. I'm just going to pop a little on my finger and pat it in to that area that I've just covered. And this is a pretty good colour match for my foundation. Um, it's not too bright. I want it a little bit illuminating, but I don't want it to be too, too bright. So I'm getting right over where I've covered with that camouflage cream and I'm patting it in around the edges. You could do that with a sponge or you could do it with a small brush. Um, I have, I actually have too much on my hand I think so I don't think I need any more. No I think that looks okay. I'm a tiny bit. I think that looks okay. Again the camera sometimes picks things up differently. Um, so just pat it in and blend it in with my foundation. So I hope you can see that that is kind of matching the other side. Um, so I'm just going to wipe off the excess from my finger and from my hand. So that's a good, that's a pretty good coverage. I think the darkness has gone down quite a bit. Um, now I need to set that because otherwise I tend to have oiliness around my eyes, you know, on my lid and underneath my bottom lashes and my mascara and often my um, liner can transfer a little bit so I need to set it with something. Now I have the Catrice Nude Illusion uh, Loose Powder in, it's just a translucent powder, nearly at the end of this. Um, I can set it with that or I could also set it with the MAC um, Mineralized Skin Finish in Light Plus which is that one there. But I think I'm going to, I'm going to apply it with um, a sponge a damp sponge and it was Shaz from the Blonde Tea Party who gave me this tip this tip she was doing um she did a video the other day on I think it was summertime makeup kind of sweat sweat proof makeup and um, and it was a fabulous um fabulous video so she gave this tip about using a uh, powder with a damp beauty sponge so I'm putting some loose powder into the lid of my my <laughs> into the lid <laughs> There's my little beauty sponge. Now I had to use that earlier to, to blend so it is clean. Um, and I'm just going to dip, it is damp. I'm going to dip that in there. Get a nice little coverage of powder. You can actually do this all over your face when you're putting powder on. And I'm just going to pat that on. So as well as setting it, it's I think it's giving it some hydration. So I'm blending it in. There's my finger as well. Blending it in and uh, that's set my powder and hopefully that looks the same as the other side. It does in real life. Pop that down. So that's the effect. I hope you can see that it has actually, I think it's done a really, really good job of covering up that darkness. Um, I do have slight troughs in my eyes. <laughs> And that as I'm going to pat in a little bit more there, that as I get older, seem to get deeper. Um, so anyway, they're the products that I think have been working really, really well. Um, and that doesn't feel, with the powder, it doesn't feel cakey. Um, probably if I was to do it, you know, if you were doing it normally, I have my makeup done. So if I was to do it normally, it would probably, I would probably do that before I put my foundation on, but I have my foundation on. So, um, there you go. Um, but I think they're two fabulous products for covering up dark circles. So it's the Catrice Camouflage Cream Anti-Shadow and it's kind of a yellowy type cream. This was very inexpensive. I think it was about, it was less than four euro. I got it in Primark or Pennies. 
they usually have a Catrice stand and this one, the Dream Loomy Touch by Maybelline, those two together, plus, let's not forget, your powder of choice. You could also use the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder, I've used that as well, but I actually find that just works just as well. Um, so those three together do a pretty good job of covering up the dark circles. Um, I'm pretty pleased with that. So, hope you enjoyed that. I hope maybe you could try it out and see if it works for you. Let me know how you get on. And um, if there's any particular videos that you'd like to see me do, let me know in the comments below. Um, I'd, I'd love to know what you're interested in seeing. Um, so I hope that you're having a fabulous day wherever you are and that maybe the sun is shining. It's not exactly shining here, but it's quite warm today, quite humid. And um, yeah, I will see you later in the week with another video. So thanks very much. I really appreciate you spending, spending some time with me and giving me your time. And I will see you very soon. Bye bye.